<laughs> now, Denise, talk about your mum, actually, and indeed your dad, because today is... We'll, we'll call it a special day, as sad as it is in terms of I'm memories. I'm trying to look but on it's it a, it's a special day, and I'm trying to flip the narrative, because today is a year... Oh, here we go. I said I was going to be all right. No, I know. I know. Today is a year since my dad died. A year no. today. And, um, but I, I am trying to flip the narrative because I want it to be a celebration of a life well lived because nobody who knew my dad or indeed knew of my dad could ever say that he didn't live his life. So I was just saying to Matty, my eldest, on the phone before, that although it was September 28th last year, we lost him. A year before that, in 2020, I was in Turkey with him. And um, I was having to say to strangers, could you make sure my dad gets back from the party OK at 4 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> um, he was a proper nightclubber, wasn't he? Was he? He, a loved a, party he loved a dance. animal. And he also did a drag act. So um, those of you who are old enough to remember will know why he called himself Raquel, because our surname is Welsh. So his uh, alter ego was, was Raquel. <laughs> and um, he... Every single day, somebody reminds me of something he said or did, or Jane and I have known each other for 30 years, so she's had many a night out with Dad and Raquel. <laughs> and, um, but it was, you know, it was an also an opportunity today to just be thinking of losing... My dad was... Um, my dad was the one person in the world who never judged me. Mm -hmm. There was no judgment, no matter what I did, and I, and I deserved to be judged. But I felt I lost the person who, mm -hmm. who, um, ne who never judged me. Luckily, you know, my husband back. is the same. But yeah, you but keep that my memory alive all the time. We do you keep do, that. You celebrate we do him. keep the memory yeah. alive. And my sister and I were, were incredibly lucky that we were allowed to be with him at the end. But there was a lot of people mm -hmm. who lost people in these last two mm -hmm. years who have had to say goodbye without being with them. And so I think, you know, there's a lot of triggers around, mm, yeah. around that. But, it's a um, traumatic time. But my mum died on my May the 22nd, on my birthday, and I remember thinking, what an awful, initially, what an awful day to, 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 to lose my mum on my birthday. And then I decided, no. I thought, my mum died on the 22nd of May, and she left the world... And, and so she brought me into the world on the 22nd of May and she left the world holding my hand on the 22nd of May. So yeah. it's like a, a circle of life. So I feel it as a, as, as a celebration. It's and a good um, to look at it. I've had such wonderful, wonderful memories. And uh, so it's also thank you for celebrating him today, but also thinking of all the people who, you know... Because mm -hmm. grief blindsides you. I can talk mm -hmm. about it normally sometimes and then other days I have to pull the car over, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but... As I say, it's uh, it, it, he was he was a friend of the show, wasn't he? Oh so well, one, as you said, also year. he lived about ten lives he in did. his one he life. He, I've never met anybody with the energy that he had. I know, unbelievable. I mean, and yeah, there he is. There, there, oh, there, look at his outfit! I love the pink yeah, outfit. Yeah, we had that made yeah. for him for his for his 80th. I think he wore it on them. Um, and uh, that's what he that's what he left this world in as well that suit so oh that's nice so thank you for all the um, well wishes yeah. as well thank you very much yeah.